Hello and welcome to another book this video. <laughs> I haven't properly looked in the mirror. Oh my god. I just got done doing like hair and makeup and I've been trying to get more volume in my roots. <laughs> Why? Why? Tell me why this is like this? What is going on? We're gonna kind of try to move past this and welcome to another bookmas video. I don't know specifically what day this is, even though I do have them all planned out. I don't wanna be like, oh yeah, welcome to bookmas day 10, and then this is like bookmas day five. Like, I don't know, I'm pre-filming most of these. This book miss, this tip for today's book miss video, I'm going to be reading the highest rated book on my Goodreads TBR and my lowest rated book on my Goodreads TBR. What I did was I went on to my Goodreads and I completely cleared my whole entire like want to read list because when I made my Goodreads, I basically just looked up a bunch of books. So this was like December of 2020. I looked up a bunch of books and just put it in my want to read and never changed it. So I deleted all of those and then put basically my whole entire physical TBR on it. It's not because currently my books are wrapped up, which you guys saw in book miss day one that I had wrapped up my book. They're wrapped up still currently because I am going to keep them wrapped and like do a series over on my TikTok of me like unwrapping them and doing three minute reading vlog. I put basically all of the ones that I can remember and all of the ones that are on my shelf onto my Goodreads want to read list and we are going to see what is the lowest rated book and the highest rated book and I'm going to read them and see if I agree that it's the highest rated or agree that it's the lowest rated or what I rate it. You know, the whole entire shebang. So Let's get into it. Well, you guys can see me in the mirror in the back, but you guys can also see the Christmas tree. So, you know. So, I'm going to go on to my Goodreads because that's what this video is. Right now, I've read more than 157. I don't update them until the end of the month, but I have completed my reading challenge by 209%. My favorite title, Average Rating. Let's see what happens on my phone. Okay, so this is what we have going on. It's an endless scroll. But let's sort by average rating. Is that what we would do? I don't know. So, we have a problem <laughs> officially. I did it by average rating. So, obviously, it did it from highest to lowest. So, obviously, we're going to be looking at the highest first. But the problem is, is that the first four books that I have as the highest rated are all books of series that I haven't read yet. So Kingdom of Ash, which is the seventh book in the Throne of Glass series, haven't read that yet. It has a 4.62 rating though. Then we have the fifth book in the Throne of Glass series, the third book in the Infernal Devices series, and then the fourth book in the Throne of Glass series that I also haven't read yet. And then the fifth book that is the highest rated is House of Sky and Breath, which is also in a series that I have not yet read. That looks like we're going to have to go to the sixth book and I can't see it so we're gonna see what that is oh okay house of earth and blood which is the first book in the crescent city series a very long book <laughs> oh god this is going to take me literally forever our highest rated book that I'm gonna have to read for this video is going to be house of earth and blood okay I didn't expect that. Actually, I kind of did feel like maybe a fantasy book would be in the higher ratings because I feel like those series, like all the fantasy series that I put in that are on my TBR are highly loved series. Wow, I didn't realize that a lot of these that are on my TBR are, ro are romance, are romance, are rated very highly. Now we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. I'm not going to look. Okay, well, it's still loading, but still loading. <laughs> we're still loading. Well, the lowest rated on the books that I put. And again, like I said earlier, these are literally books that I either had sitting on my shelves or I put in literally just from memory. We're not reading all I want for Christmas because I'm doing a whole entire separate video of Christmas books. And also I don't feel like it would be super fair. Yeah, obviously like a Christmas book isn't gonna be the highest rated on my TBR, but mostly just because I am going to be filming a different video just full of Christmas books. But it looks like the lowest rated 
book on my TBR is Wilder Girls by Rory Power, which has been sitting on the book talk table for literally such a long time. It has a 3.48 stars, which isn't necessarily bad, but I guess it kind of is when you have 71,000 ratings. The thing that has shied me, I think I've had this book since like January. Yes, since January. And the thing that shied me away from this is that a lot of people were like, yeah, that book's not good at all. And now kind of seeing that on this TBR is scaring me. <sighs> okay, so I have the two books right here. Look at that. <laughs> it's literally insane. We have Wilder Girls by Rory. I was literally about to say Rory Gilmore. Did I say Rory Gilmore? earlier and then we have house of earth and blood which is very thick these are the two books that we'll be reading for today's video i am definitely going to be starting with wilder girls one it's the shorter one and two i am the person that's always like when someone's like i have good and bad news which one do you want to hear first i'm always like give me the bad news because i'm gonna have to suffer through that bad news and then i'm gonna need the good news to like make me feel better afterwards so definitely give me the bad news first whenever i am presented with the negative option i unfortunately am always going to see that one through first we're going to read the lower rated one to, i feel like it would be unfair to read the lower rated one after the higher rated one because what if I also think that this is like a five stars and then I read this book and then I'm like oh this is nothing like this even though like it's not saying that it is and I rate this one even lower just because like it doesn't compare to this one so that's what we're doing we're gonna start with Wilder Girls let's get into it honestly I don't really know what's going on in this book right now at first I was interested and now it just feels like a lot of back and forth and kind of pointless um, necessary details and nothing is happening a little bored and i still have quite a bit i think i'm probably like 50 percent through oh it's so it's like a week later ah anyway my back hurts i'm almost finished with this right here i'm almost finished yeah the thing is is that i don't understand this book's like twist that they just tried to do it's giving me shatter me but like out of nowhere like there was absolutely zero evidence of like that being a thing and then they just like dropped that bomb and we're like and now you're even more confused than you have been this whole entire book and i said not in a good way where you're like oh my gosh what's going on i can't wait to keep reading you're like what is going on that's not a great feeling i'm gonna try to finish it i'm not loving it at all like this is literally like a two star for me at the moment and i don't think that this book can really do anything redeemable for me right now that goodreads rating overall is pretty understandable hi i look rough i have since finished wilder girls since the last time we have spoke also charlie hears me speaking so here she comes yeah she got a haircut yesterday. This was kind of, after I did some more research into what this book is, because I genuinely was so confused. I had never once seen it, like myself, anybody talk about this book. I still, almost a year later, have not seen one person speak about this book. And so I looked it up because I was like, what's going on with this? Like, what is this book? It is said to be like the feminist version of Lord of the Flies or something like that, which I've never read. It's a classic that I want to read, but I haven't read it yet. And so I cannot gauge if that is true or not irrelevant for me to tell you but anyway let's talk about the ratings of this book and if i think that i agree with the good read overall rating i would say that i rated this book a one and a half stars i did not enjoy this book it's just something that I honestly was just trying to get through for this video. So do I agree with the Goodreads ratings? Yes. I forget what it was overall, like a three. I feel like that's a pretty on the low side for a book on Goodreads, especially if it was like a highly, highly talked about book for it to be rated a three stars. I feel like that's pretty low. My personal opinion, yes, I don't really see a hype with this book. There were moments that I enjoyed and moments that I was like interested in the story, but above that, I didn't care about the characters, the plot twists that were kind of being tried to be pulled kind of felt out of nowhere. Like it didn't feel like it kind of fit. I think what's really disappointing is that the premise of the story is super interesting. I thought that the premise was a good one and you could have done a lot more than what was done with it. Did I like it? No. Do I see the hype with it? No. Do I agree with the Goodreads rating overall? Yes. Now we are starting A House of Earth and Blood. We know that I am an avid lover of the Akatar series and this is another one of her series that she has started. This is a almost 800 page book that we are going to try to get through in one night. I will say I am excited because I do love a good Sarah J Mass book and this is a new universe. What I understand, which I have seen, is that basically all of Sarah J Mass's series are interconnected in some way. And if something is connected to the Akatar series, you can put my 
my name on it. I am very excited. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get through, I feel like the buildup of the story first, and then we're gonna talk about it and kind of then go from there. But I feel like I need to kind of read through the buildup and then talk about what I think about the book so far. It is like days later. I actually am on page 114 of Crescent City right now. And it has been a struggle. I have been on the struggle bus trying to read this. I look like I've been on a struggle bus right now. I just woke up because I am bound and determined to finish this book today. That way we can get this video up. So as me and Charlie cuddle under the covers, which yes, she has a haircut. She looks like a mom. <laughs> you know what I'm talking Wow, is this book hard to get into? I'm literally 114 pages in. The bone that I have to pick with this book is that it just kind of feels like an information dump. Like, I feel like I'm reading a bunch of stuff that doesn't make any sense to me. Also, this book, they talk about phones, they talk about cameras, they talk about all the stuff like it's set in like modern day, right? Like they all talk like it's modern day, like they all whatever. The thing that I don't understand is that when I, even when I was reading the actor series, I was like, what time period does like all of this take place in? I I am so confused because in this book, like I said, they, she, I read where it's like her phone's ringing, the cameras, blah, blah, blah. And all of Sarah J. Mass's books are kind of like interconnected. I've been seeing a lot of TikToks coincidentally because you know your phone listens to everything that you say. But I've been seeing a lot of TikToks being like trying to explain to my husband how like this is connected to the actor series and that's connected to the Throne of Glass series and this is connected to the Throne of Glass series, which I've also gotten a lot of DMs because I've been posting about this. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, this is why you should because I post a lot of real time updates and I have been talking to you guys and you guys are like, you, you should read Throne of Glass first. Trust me, I wish I could read Throne of Glass first, but since this is for this video, which you guys don't know it's for this video, I have to read this first. They're talking about phones and stuff, so it takes place in like modern time. So Akatar has to take place in modern time, but why don't they talk about phones and stuff? Like I'm confused. Like does no one else pick up on that or is it just me and like they're watching tv or is it like this takes place in modern day but like throne of glass and akatar took place like years ago no that doesn't make sense either i don't know like it's too much for my brain to think about this is definitely a book that after you read it especially if you're not very prone to fantasy reading which i honestly still have not read like a lot a lot of fantasy books this is a super complicated fantasy world for me i was already thinking after i finished this book to even try to attempt to read the second one i'm going to need to like watch somebody do an analysis on the whole entire plot of this book after i read it i got some dms being like yeah you're definitely gonna need to like watch uh like analysis on the plot and like information that they talk around in this book like if you're not used to the fantasy world building and i'm not those words on the paper i'm reading them but they're not co i'm not cognitively thinking about them like you guys know i've said that my brain is kind of like a filing cabinet like kind of off that episode of spongebob where like everything's on fire but there's filing cabinets everywhere and kind of everything gets put into its own little file yeah those words that are happening right now are not getting put into a file they're just kind of getting thrown up in the air and hoping that it places somewhere that it belongs the big plot point has happened which also that is my bone to pick that i forgot earlier my bone to pick with this is that there is an event that happens on page like 57 or something. I would not have seen coming and it would have been such a good twist 50 pages in. But it's literally on the synopsis of the book. But anyway, we're going to try to attempt to finish this. It is 7.47 a.m. right now. I am hopefully going to finish this. That way we can get this video up. I am currently 500 pages in. <gasps> Why is this so hard? It's not a bad book because I'm actually enjoying it. I like that you honestly get like almost everybody's point of view, which is told in the third person. So sometimes I get a little confused of like whose like point of view I'm reading from. It's just the only thing is that everything just feels incredibly, incredibly slow. And I'm telling you guys, it's still the same feeling that I am not processing an inch of information. I am 100% going to have to have somebody explain this book to me in case the quality is different from the last clip my tripod fell at one point and i completely completely broke my lens like it is completely broke that's awesome that's how my morning has been going thus far i don't know roman numerals but i'm in the ravine part of the book so there's about this much of it left twist just happened the thing is is that i don't really understand the science and stuff behind the twist and i don't know if i believe the twist part of me feels like i don't even know if i can rate this book because i am just so confused and i feel like that is affecting my experience and i don't want to be putting this book down just because i'm stupid so i don't really know what's going on but 
this thing that's going on with one of the characters. I'm on chapter 71. This thing that's going on with one of the characters kind of feels reminiscent of what Raisin had to go through in the Akatar series. If you guys have read that series and you know stuff that Raisin had to go through, it kind of feels very reminiscent to that. I had to say that. I had to bring him up any chance I get. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. I knew it. Always trust, always, always trust your instinct, guys. I just finished House of Earth and Blood. And wow, was that not a roller coaster of emotions. Did I cry a little bit at the end? Yeah. How does Sarah J. Mass know how to hit me right in my heart? Wait. Which side is my heart on? But right in the heart. Because there's something that happens at the end that's very monumental and it's very, very, very emotional. And if you have a best friend that you really, really care for, you would know. And when you put yourself in those shoes, I'm not gonna say more than that, but it's just the power of friendship. I'm definitely going to give this book a four stars. This was so good. And I'm pretty sure the rating, the overall rating was like a, was it a 4.5? Something along those lines. I definitely agree. This is the only other Sarah J Mass book that I've read other than the Akatar series. And I will say, that she does this beautifully and I do think though that there were parallels like how I said stuff going on with one of the characters kind of paralleled Rezand. There's a parallel also like at the end of Akatar and like what started happening at the end of this book that really reminded me of like the endingness of Akatar. If you guys have read that and read this then please tell me down below if you guys feel the same way. When I will pick up House of Earth and Sky or something house of sky and breath whatever the second one i don't know because this was very very hard to get through but hopefully the second one is way better i still need to watch a youtube video to even really understand all of the politicness of what happened also i have no clue how this can even connect to the akatar series i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope it was like a fun kind of reading vlog style video i don't know it's so long it's been so long since i like started this video that i don't even know anymore but hopefully you guys enjoyed i know that today's book miss day 11 and it is almost over there's just one more day book miss but don't worry guys i'm still going to be uploading pretty frequently i feel throughout december hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did you guys know what to do like comment subscribe all that youtube stuff and i will see you guys when i see ya peace